And what are you going to make when it's too hot to turn on the oven? You still want to eat healthy. Dietitian Kim Galliaz has three no cook meal ideas that require no stove, no oven, or even a microwave. Only chopping, slicing, dicing, and using a food processor, all filled with fruits and vegetables to keep us healthy. And Kim is here joining us live in Whitestown. Let's dig into this. I'm all about it, especially for folks today who don't want it to be more hot or hotter in their, their apartments or houses. Yeah, exactly. And so you're probably saying, oh, I'm craving noodles. Well, guess what? You normally have to boil those noodles. I say make my Korean spice noodle salad with the fully cooked udon noodles or the rice noodles that you just soak in water for a little bit longer than it says on the package. And you do extra hot tap water so you don't need to boil them or put them in the microwave. And then my noodle salad, Angela, is chock full of all kinds of zesty spice because I use that Korean chili paste, mm. the gochujang, yeah. and I have some sesame oil and some soy sauce in there and some sesame seeds. But I chop up some apples mm. and some green onions so that you can have some fruits and vegetables. And then you probably want some protein with this salad. So hard boiled eggs are a, a, a traditional Korean thing. And you don't have to cook those either because you're going to head to the Kroger egg department. And you're going to buy these bags of the already cooked and peeled hard cooked eggs or you can use frozen shrug, uh, thawed shrimp as your protein oh, source. That looks so good too. And like you said, fresh. I love things at this time of year that may be um, a little cooler, like your next one, <laughs> something yeah. cold. Absolutely. Look at this. This is like a bowl of refreshing green. This is my green gazpacho. And gazpacho is that traditional Spanish soup, which is usually tomato based. But here I'm actually using, and I'm going to spill it everywhere if I don't be careful, uh, just green ingredients. So I have spinach and cucumber and avocado, and I have Italian parsley and cilantro mm. in there, some lime juice. Mm. But Angela, I have a secret ingredient in oh, here. What Do you know it? what it is? No. Walnuts, because walnuts actually give it some texture and some creaminess. They're giving you a little bit of protein and fiber as well. And they're giving you that plant-based omega-3 fatty acids. And speaking of those omega-3 yeah. fatty acids, you can actually enjoy my green gazpacho with some, some shrimp or some oh. crab meat, whatever oh. you would like for protein or just cheese and bread on the side. Yes, yes, yes. I love yeah. that. Okay, and then you're going to finish things off with a sandwich. Yeah, because everybody can throw a sandwich together really quick and get this my muffaletta style uh, sandwich has all of the five nutrient rich food groups. So I have bread, I have provolone and mozzarella cheese, I have protein from all those wonderful deli meats like salami and ham, but the fruits and vegetables are just filled in this olive salad that I have created that is like that muffaletta spread that you put on that traditional New Orleans sandwich. And it literally is just filled with flavor and gives you all those anti-inflammatory properties and those antioxidants. Mm. And I've put mine on the ciabatta, the private selection from the Kroger Bakery Deli, but you could put it on any bread or roll that you want. And voila, you have a fabulous nutrient rich sandwich. Well, literally my stomach just growled. Okay. So. Um, we'll be eating some of these today. Kim, thank you. And I've been listening to this podcast, trying to like really think about all the greatest foods to eat to just really help, especially women going through menopause. Cilantro, I didn't realize, I mean, obviously through you, I know that they are health benefits, but I didn't realize how much, I gotta be honest. So yeah, that's nice. Uh, cilantro and parsley, yeah. these herbs, they actually have vitamin K for bone building properties and all kinds, kinds of other natural nutrients in them. Kim, you know everything. So we appreciate <laughs> you really. and hiding and getting some of those great tasting foods and those meals for us. Walnuts, like you mentioned, really yeah. healthy too. So good to see you. Thank good you so you. much. You. If you would like to try these dishes at home, fox59.com slash recipes, they'll be for you right there.